We've been talking a lot about lead magnets. We've talked about how one, you need to have something on your website that entices people to opt in and get the conversation started. Next, we talked about how you can generate opt-ins for free simply by posting on your business's Facebook page. The next thing I wanna do is talk about how you can expedite the process and generate even more opt-ins by boosting posts. So here's how you can 3X your opt-in rate with paid client attraction and lead magnets. Here's what you do. You wanna take your best performing piece of content, an ebook, video guide, or cookbook, and create a Facebook post around that piece of content. The next step is you want to put some advertising dollars behind it by boosting the post. In this example, we can look at 360 Fitness one more time and their 12 Fit Foodie Recipe Cookbook. Jack over at 360 Fitness spent a total of $100 on this post to drive as much traffic as he could towards this piece of content. Now, there's an important note here. When you're boosting a post, you want to make sure you're targeting the same audience that you normally would when you run your ads. So in this case, Jack is targeting the same audience, the same group of people that he normally does when he advertises on Facebook. So again, it's the same 70,000 men and women in his town of Red Deer. Now previously when he posted an ebook or a lead magnet on Facebook, he generated 30 to 60 opt-ins. But by boosting his post, he's getting a lot more people looking at his content. This is pretty low risk and a pretty cheap strategy. Jack got 164 opt-ins and only spent $100. Here's the deal, Facebook optimizes based off of a campaign objective. A conversion campaign will be more expensive than a lead generation campaign because Facebook wants its users to stay on the platform. Traffic and link clicks can be a bit cheaper, but engagement campaigns are going to be very cheap as well. Now check this out, you can see that 26 cents per engagement. Now engagement doesn't necessarily equal a lead, but what that does mean is that it will be a lot cheaper for Jack to get more viewers on this piece of content by choosing engagement as his objective. Which means that if you have a landing page that converts really, really well, or if you have a piece of content that you know is great, like Jack's 12 Fit Foodie Recipes, then you want to choose the cheapest traffic source for you to get as many people to view the page or your offer or your piece of content as possible. And that's exactly what Jack did here by boosting the post. He got a ton of viewers on his offer, his 12 Fit Foodie Recipe Cookbook, and that translated into 164 opt-ins at a really affordable price. Now keep in mind, we're just asking for a first name and an email. There's no phone number field. So the opt-in rate will be a lot higher. The more questions you have on a form, the lower your conversion rate will be. So we can't call these people. Having said that, if you run a gym like Jack, you'll have an awesome automated email nurture sequence for people who opt in and that will drive them to some kind of call to action, ideally a consultation or a sign up. On top of that, you can take the 158 people who opted in and retarget them with ads later on. You can also retarget the people who engaged with the post but didn't necessarily download the book, which is awesome. So that's it. That's how you can triple your opt-in rate using lead magnets and paid advertising.